How are you doing? Charlie Winters here with selections for Wednesday the 3rd of August. But first, a quick recap. Well, it was a disappointing day. Um, obviously, I got someone in the comments making, um, telling me that I was very wrong in the selections that I chose. Well, maybe he was right, but um, we can all say that, can't we? So it's all about opinions. Um, I'll, I'll be glad to see how he gets on in, the, in a few weeks to come. But um, no sour grapes, but well done to him for picking the forecast. Um, but anyway, getting on to, um, I think it was £3.80 to return from a stake of about £20, I think it was. So disappointing. So selections for Wednesday the 3rd of August are as follows. I'm going small stakes today. I'm going a 10 pence each way, lucky 15, and a pound each way accumulated. The first selection is Dandy's Angel at 2 to 1 with a 2.20 at punch rate. This isn't really an each way bet, but it's a nice start if it, if it happens to win. The jockey won the race last year. Um, his name is something like Aaron Cagney. Um, it looks like he can ride. Um, I've watched a couple of races with him on. Um, my preference originally, jockey-wise, was, was for Headingley, but I, I just couldn't fancy the horse. First time visor, I think it could it could be hard to pass, but its best form is on the all-weather. Dandy's Angel, you may remember that I tipped it at 20-1 to 1 last time. And it came to win the race, only just to not quite find enough. So uh, that's my first selection. The second selection is Zayman Jamil at 13 to 2 in the 250 at Ponty. This horse ran in a much better race, in my opinion, um, than the race it's taking part in at Ponty Um It was prominent throughout, and it was a big, it was a big improvement on its first run. I just think with Daniel Toto booked, it has got a wide draw, which is unfortunate, but I think. If it goes straight to, to the front, or at least near the front, the draw shouldn't make too much of a difference, because they do get enough time to get a position. The third selection is Prospect at 7-1 to one in the 450 at Pontefract, paying four places instead of three. This horse, I've been watching it for a while. I do like Paul Midgley horses. Um, I do think it's the best of his selections tomorrow, uh, well, runners tomorrow. Um, it ran at Chester. A while back, when I, when I tipped the winner, and um, it was one of um, Paul Mitchell's that actually won that race, but it came from nowhere at Chester, and I think, granted a quickish pace, I think it could track the leaders and pounce like pounce late on. Um, I do, I'm not quite sure what race is being prepped for. Hopefully, it could be this one. The prize money is not great, so um, yeah, I, I think it's got a decent chance, even if it only runs a place. I think seven to one its value. And the final selection is Claret's Glory at 8 to 1 in the 520 at Ponty, paying four places instead of three. This horse has run three times at Pontefract and run three crackers every time. Um, I think if it races prominent, I think a, a Connor Beasley power pack ride should help, help, yeah, should hopefully help get its head in front. I'm expected to race prominent. If it doesn't, there's something not right. Um, I, I'm hopeful of a decent run. So there's the four selections. No huge prices, but um, yeah, I, I do like the look of all of them. So the very best of luck. Charlie Winters over and out. Cheers, mate.